Hello and welcome. Ross van Bergen from BMW in Cheltenham. Thanks very much for joining me today. And today I've got something a little bit special for you. And of course we have the true traditional British weather with us. So please bear with me. Today I bring you this fantastic and very, very beautiful Z4 M40i finished in this Thunder Knight metallic. So let's take a look. So then, let's talk Z4 M40i. The engine in this particular car is a 3-litre straight-six turbocharged engine producing 340 brake horsepower and will launch you 0-60 to in 4.5 seconds. At the moment, I'm getting about 29 miles to the gallon, which from a Z Roadster is pretty good. The 4.5 seconds I definitely will not be trying out today as this is my boss's car. Now, like all Roadsters, Really and truly, you've got to have a couple of things in the mix. You've got to have a bit of speed, a bit of fun, and of course, the noise. Now, the colours Thunder Knight. This does sound a bit like thunder when you start it up and get going. It's a lovely sound and really does ring true to BMW's DNA going back years and years and years. I remember sitting in an old 330 back in 2000 and the tailpipe sounding very, very similar to that. And it's just reminiscent of that. Um, really, really lovely, low down, grunty noise. Um, so let's take a listen. Don't worry boss, I didn't rev it too hard. So then let's talk a little bit about design. Now, as I say, this car is finished in Thunder Knight Metallic, which I think suits the car really, really nicely. You also have these fantastic 19 inch alloy wheels coupled with the M Sport brakes finished with the blue looking great. This particular car has got the shadow line pack, which means that you do get the black wing mirror caps, you get the black uh, window surrounds, you do get black tailpipes and the grill at the front, which is black as well. All pulling the car nicely together. There's no silver or anything like that. It gives it a bit more of a knightly presence to it. Yeah, knightly presence, thunder knight. Let's talk interior. Now, with all M Sports, you do get this lovely, thicker steering wheel with the thumb rests as well. On this particular one, you've got the paddle shifts. This one is heated, lovely. You've got these fantastic uh, seats. These are sports seats, but look at the quilt at the top. They really, really do look lovely, and they're very comfortable to sit in. And of course, you get the M Sport stitching on the seat belts. Really, really nice touch. The interior wise, it's finished off really nicely, all soft touch up, up top here in the middle and even down here as well. The centre console's nice and thick, so it really sort of pulls you in as a driver's car, which is essentially what this is. A couple of features on board, you have got the infotainment screen system, you've also got the digital dash as well, which you can change. You've got the auto climate control with heated seats. You've also got your little uh, iDrive system just here, coupled with the gear shifter um, with your driving select mode as well. This car has got active dampers, so when you put it in sport, it stiffens everything up. Uh, vice versa with comfort and eco, loosens everything up uh, and makes it a little bit more economical. Um, but overall, it's a really, really nice feeling. As I say, you've got the stitching across the dash, um, this lovely brushed aluminium as well, which pulls it all together, um, making you feel a little bit more engaged. Again, the infotainment screen system is tilted towards you in great engaging the driver as it should. Harman Kardon, 12 speakers in this car, again, ear bursingly good, especially needed when you've got the roof down because of course, when you're having your wind going everywhere, you still wanna hear your tunes. Epic. So what's it like to drive? The sound is just so, so nice. 
I'm not sure whether you're picking that up on the microphone, but it does sound very, very nice. Uh, being a roaster, it's lovely. As I say, you're in this low slung, um, low position. So visibility is not amazing, but then again, you don't buy a roaster for that. Uh, you've got this fantastic heads up display as well. So that's showing you the speed and the current speed limit, uh, which is probably what you'll need in a car like this because my word, can it go? Um, but it holds the road really, really nicely. Um, obviously I've got it in the comfort mode at the moment, but if you put it in sport, then it all becomes a little bit uh, thunder-like. Uh, so it tunes everything up, so the steering stiffens, the suspension stiffens a little bit, uh, the exhaust notes seem to get a little bit louder, which I'm not quite sure why, because uh, it's loud enough as it is. Um, but overall, um, for a low-slung sports car, it's really, really nice to drive. And because you've got the soft top, not a hard top, actually it's not that loud in here. Um, so yeah, it's really, really quite nice to drive uh, I thought it'd be a little bit more jittery and a bit more hard but actually no it's a really really nice drive and if you've not driven one of these you probably should so there you go guys thanks very much for taking the time to watch this video I hope you've enjoyed it as much as I have I really do enjoy driving this car thanks very much like subscribe show your support and we'll see you for the next video Hopefully it's as fun as this one. I'm off to enjoy some sun and the open road.